Welcome to St. Dominic Church on Friday for our morning Mass. We will begin at 9 o'clock. Our Spanish Mass will be at 9.45. We apologize for any technical difficulties during this Mass. Um, please be understanding that our Wi-Fi signal uh, may be going in and out today. For those of you interested, our final Science and Faith Talk is this Sunday. Visit our website, stdominics.org, for a link to the Zoom meeting. Also, a reminder that Brother John will be leaving us next week. So uh, Sunday is also his last day at the church. If you would like to uh, wish him goodbye, you're welcome to um, email him or contact him through the church office. Thank you. Or send a little something to him. Or yeah, mail him something. <laughs> Video, video thing, we are all in your hands today. Huh? Oh boy. <laughs> it's going to be fun.
opening song will be number 193. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, come, O Father of the poor, come, O Source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. today remembering Pope Paul VI, St. Pope Paul VI. I think most of us remember him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we come remembering him as we praise our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lord with your Lord. spirit. Sisters, let us just reflect in our lives before God. For those times that we have not been true to our pledge of, of love for him, we, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those of that we have not been faithful in our living out of our vows, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. For those times that we have not been forgiving, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ, and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us gates of the gates of eternity. Grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody, 
for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to P Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he, had been, that he had said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he said this, he said to him, follow me, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've always thought that was strange that Peter should say, should ask, Jesus should ask Peter three times, but this is to all offset Peter's denial three times when he was, Jesus was first brought in and started his uh, passion. So, Peter, and this is a recompense, Peter says, I love him three times as, as, he, as he had denied him three times, or laughed at him three times. So we have that as the basis. But then we have, in the midst of all this, this thing that we all remember. And I think, you know, he did an incredible number of good things, renew, renewing the church in so many different ways. But I was just going to read this. This is from his first encyclical. He says, we would add that this cardinal principle of Holy Church is not a supremacy of spiritual pride and a desire to dominate humankind, but a primacy of service, ministration, and love. It is no vapid rhetoric which confers on Christ, vicar of the title, the servant of the servants of God. And so we end this, our first encyclical, on a note of great joy, in union with the, with, the, with union of all of our spirits which has its origin in Christ, as your father and brother, we bestow upon you in the name of the immortal God our apostolic blessing, and gladly extend it to the whole church and to all people. So I think, you know, he did a lot of renewing of the church, incredible things that were unheard of before him, but he, you know, saw, saw the church in a new age right now and, and had to be, as Peter had denied Christ, now he loved him, 
So the Pope was saying, okay, we have to get behind that phrase of Peter and really live out that, that saying that Jesus, yes, I do love you. So this is, I think, this Pope was, was a great influence on our church today, and I think we have to remember him. I mean, it's amazing that he was made a saint so quickly. Mm. Must have been the inspiration of the Spirit, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, we remember him today and we thank God for him in leading our church during that difficult time. So let's pray for all of our needs, the needs of our church and our world. Let's first of all pray that we in our own hearts and our own ways will continue that renewal of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And let's pray for all those who are, who have been against this renewal all along, who are stubborn and not willing to yield in any sense forever. So for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let's pray for all those who are sick at this time, all those who are very nervous with the, all that's happening in our church and in our world. Let's pray that they will know the peace of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for those who are struggling with the virus, and those who have suffered because of the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your prayers? For all those who have recommended themselves to our prayers, and for those for whom we are bound to pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all pastors and leaders of parishes, as they begin to open up, that the Holy Spirit may guide them along the way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And loving God, we gather all these prayers and place them before you. Help us gather in the Eucharist this morning to realize your power among us and help us to guide us through this reopening of the church, individual churches, and help us to live that and do it in joy and in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. I should have said amen. I said it the wrong way. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Mercifully, Lord, we pray upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you, let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lord, with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all who believe and minister in your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marriage be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Because we believe that through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And I'll let you wave to each other. <laughs> peace with you. Peace. 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 peace with you. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Turn us to the spiritual communion, sir. 
Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, his Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us, remain with us forever. Amen. And now let's go and live God's life. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father, you too.